مرحبا okay, In this session we want to study special kind of matrices called boolean matrices So what is a boolean matrix? Okay, maybe from the name you already know A boolean matrix is a matrix whose entries are either zeros or ones Okay, so a boolean matrix is a matrix whose entries all of its entries okay are zeros and ones okay. so here is an example this is a two by two boolean matrix okay here's a three by three boolean matrix every entry is either a zero or a one Okay, and here is one one zero zero one one. This is a two by three Boolean matrix. This is a three by three Boolean matrix, and this is a two by two Boolean matrix. Okay. Now, okay. Of course, if we add two, say uh, if we add this matrix with this matrix, then these are two boolean matrices but their addition is not a boolean matrix because the entry the first entry in the first row will be two and of, we will leave the world of matrices of boolean matrices okay so we want to stay in the world of boolean matrices so we want to define new operations which are called the meet and join of matrix, of boolean matrices but before these uh, before introducing these meet and join I want to introduce the meet and join of zeros and ones. So suppose we have x here and y here, and x and y are either zero or one. So we have one one or one zero or zero one or one one. Then we define the meet of x and y. So x and or called x meet y. So this is called meet which will play the same role as <coughs> as a conjunction if you think of one as true and zero as false so one and meet one is one one meet zero is zero zero meet one is zero and sorry this should be zero zero okay and zero meet zero is zero okay and the other operation is uh, the counterpart of uh, this junction which is called join so we say x join y okay so we call this join and we define one join one, one to be one and one join zero to be one and zero join one to be also one and finally zero join zero to be zero okay so this is a definition of this operations two operations on zeros and ones called meet and join okay so this is how they are defined but it's easy to remember this just think of the meet as conjunction as the join as disjunction and one as true and zero as false okay these now we use these operations on zeros and ones to define the meet and join of of, a matri of boolean matrices so suppose a is a boolean matrix and b as well is another boolean matrix of the same dimension so these are both boolean matrices okay then we define a meet b by being the boolean matrix whose entries are the meets of the corresponding entries of the meets of the corresponding entries in a and b so it will be a i j meet b i j okay since a and b are boolean matrices then every entry a i j and b i j are either zero or one so this is well defined and similarly we define a join b to be again taking the join of the corresponding entries from A and B, from the matrices A and B. Okay, so let's take an, a quick example. So suppose 
we have 1, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 0. So this is a matrix, and we want to take the meet of this matrix with this Boolean matrix. Okay, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Then what do you get? Okay, so we just take the meet of the corresponding entries. So here, okay, so 1 meet 0 is 0. And then 0 meet anything is else is 0. 1 meet, so here we have 1 meet 0 is also 0. And here we have 0 as well. And then look, 1 meet 1 is 1. And 0 meet 0 is 0. Okay, so this is the meet of these two matrices. And now, if we take this, uh, sorry, join of these two matrices again, what do we get? Okay, whenever we have a 1, we get a 1. So the only entry where we have here 0, join 0, is 0. Okay, so this is the meet... Uh, Sorry, the join of these of the same two matrices. Okay, so this is called the, the meet and join. And now, using the meet and join, we can define what is called the Boolean product of Boolean matrices. Okay, the Boolean product. So again, let A be a Boolean matrix. A I J of dimension. Now it's it's very similar to the product of uh, normal of regular matrices. So suppose this has dimension m by k, and we have another matrix B whose entries are B I J. And remember the entries are either zeros or, or ones. So okay, so this has dimension k by n. Then we define the Boolean product to be A with this notation. So it's a dot inside the circle. This is a Boolean product. A Boolean product B is the matrix of dimension M by N. Okay, notice that the number of columns of A is equal to the number of rows of B. And let's call the entry here Cij. I want to tell you what is the entry in the i row and jth column on, of the Boolean product. So where Cij, I remember how did we define the product? We just use a uh, meet to represent multiplication and uh, join to represent addition. So we look at the i row in A. Okay, so remember what did we do? Here is A, here is B, and we choose the i row of A and the jth column of B. And look, this is A i1, A i2, up to A i k, and this is A 1 j, this is A 2 j, until A k j, and then instead of multiplying them, we, we take their meet, so this will be, sorry, So this will be a i one meet a one j, and then instead of addition, we make the join. Then a i two. Sorry, this should be b. These are the entries in the matrix B. Okay, this is the matrix B. This is the matrix A, and we are taking the Boolean product of A times B. So this will be a i two times b two j, okay, not times join, and then sorry meet meet, okay. So this is meet, and then join. We keep taking the join, which is which replaces addition until we take the meet of the last two. What is the meet of the last two? It's i k okay, sorry a i k meet b k. G. Okay. So this is what is called the Boolean product. Okay, let's take an example. So let's take the matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, 
and then one zero. So here is the matrix A. It's a Boolean. Okay, well, it's a Boolean matrix, and now we want to take the Boolean product with the matrix 1, 1, 0, and then 0, 1, 1. Okay. So notice that we can define the Boolean product because this has dimension 3 by 2, and this has dimension 2 by 3. So these numbers are equal. Now, what is this Boolean product? Okay, so we expect to have a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, so to get the first entry, we look at the first row in A times the first column in B. And then we do what? 1 uh, meet 1, so 1 meet 1, join 0 meet 0. Now, to take the second entry here, it will be the first row with the second column. So, one, so now again, I am talking about the first row with the second column. So, one meet one. So, now one meet one, join zero meet one. And finally, the third entry here which is the third entry in the first row. So you take the first row with the third column. And then you take the meet of the first element in the first row with the first element in the third column. So one meet zero, join zero meet what, one. Okay, now you keep doing this. Now you go to the second one with the first uh, column second row of a and the second call sorry the second row of a with the first column of b so here we get zero meet one join one meet zero okay and second row with the second column so zero meet one join one meet one Okay, so you keep uh, doing this. Let me just copy it. So, okay. Anyway, you can continue and you can check that at the end. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, compute the first entry. So what is the first entry here? So one meet one is 1, 0 meet 0 is 0, 1 join 0 is 1. Now this is 1 or 0, which is also 1. And this one is 1 meet 0 is 0, or 0 meet 1 is 0. So 0 or 0 is 0. Okay, and here what do we have? 0 meet 1 is 0. 0 and so we have a 0 here here we have a 0 here we have a 1 1 or or if you want 1 uh, join 0 is 1 and here we have a 0 here we have a 1 so this will be 1 because 0 join 1 is 1 okay, so, and you can check that uh, this will so right this is a 0 or 1 is 1 and here you get one and one. Okay, so this is equal. This matrix is the Boolean product of A times B. Okay. Now finally, let me finish this session by giving a notation for notation for the Boolean product of a matrix with itself k times. But to differentiate it with the normal product, we put the power in square brackets. So a to the power k in square brackets, this is the matrix A. So here A should be a Boolean product, sorry, a Boolean matrix. And then this notation means that 
a boolean product a boolean product a boolean product with a k types okay k types okay so if you start with the boolean matrix a then a squared bracket 2 is just a boolean product with itself a and then a to the power 3 in square brackets this means a in square brackets 2 boolean product a okay and so on 